Hi, my name's Brendan Watt, and welcome to the One Choice from Change podcast, where I give you the tools to create something totally different beyond the status quo, and where you get to become as different as you are. What if there is nothing wrong with any of the choices you've made up until now? I'm inviting you to be aware that every choice creates something. So, what will you choose today? Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Brendan Watt. Welcome to the One Choice from Change podcast on this um, this journey of nothing shows up the way you think it's going to. Nothing looks the way you think it's going to. So um, I'd started Access at this point, and I remember being at um, my first choice of possibilities class with Gary Douglas. And one of the things that I'll never forget in that class is something he said was your life is where it is right now. And every, it, it is the way it is right now, based on every single choice you've ever made. And that was such a, an awareness for me of where I'd lived my life from up until that point was I was the effect of everything. My life was showing up the way it was because of the abuse I'd had when I was a kid, because of all the things that were done around me, because of the people I had in my life, because of all the ways that people treat all of these different things, because of the school I went to, because of, because, because, because. And when I realized this, it was such an empowerment of knowing that, wow, once again, looking at it from, wow, I actually had choice in that also. And this is the thing with choice is when you're willing to see that it doesn't matter what's going in, on in your life, there is always more choice available. And it's something that we have, yet how many of us have truly been taught how to use it? For me at that point, choice was about, well, how do I get it right? How do I not be wrong? How do I win? How do I not lose? How do I benefit? How do I get from everything in life? Nothing was about magic. Nothing was about the possibilities of being in question and actually allowing the universe to be there to contribute. So I did this class and was you know, doing classes with Access Consciousness and was just like, wow, this is this is amazing you know and the tagline of access consciousness is to empower you to know what you know at this point this was 12 years ago at this point i still did not even want to hear that it was can you just tell me can you please just tell me what to do and the thing one of the things i love so much about access is it truly is an empowerment of you it truly is and on this on this journey of of having you and being everything that you are, even though at this point it can still be, I have no idea what that is. Good. What if that wasn't wrong anymore? What if it wasn't wrong to have no clue what you even desire is your future? What if that's the beautiful thing about choice is recognizing that you make a choice in this moment. Does it give you a sense of more of that energy, which is I'll get into that part because this is where creation of your life comes in. Well, let me talk about it now, actually, because one of the things that created, began to create a lot of change in my life was I did a private session with Gary Douglas uh, around this time, like 12 years ago. And I did a private session with him and I was so nervous. I was thinking like, you know, what's, what's going to happen? What's going to, what's, what's, what's he going to do? Like, what's this going to be like, you know, trying to figure it all out, which is, Jesus, man, did I do that my whole life? Try and figure everything out. Anyone else? Try and do that. Try and figure everything out. And even in that, like notice that if we could use our minds to figure everything out, wouldn't we have everything handled? Wouldn't we have everything figured out? It doesn't work yet. We still keep trying it. Not our brightest choice. So everything that brought up um, and everywhere you're trying to figure your life out, everywhere you're trying to find the perfect answer and the one big choice that's going to create all the change for you so that you never have to choose again, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all known, shorts, boys, povads and beyonds. Once again, um, that's the clearing statement that I mentioned in the previous show. If you need more information on that, it's at theclearingstatement.com. So, but hopefully this will just, you know, you'll be getting happier watching these shows and you won't have to worry about it. You won't have to figure it out. So anyway, 
back to my thing is I went and had this session and Gary starts it with, okay, what's up? And I went, um, I don't know. I basically came here for answers. And he started asking me questions like, well, what would you like your life to be like? And I went, I have no idea. And he said, okay, so how much money would you like to have? And, you know, and I'd answer that, whatever that was at the time. And he'd be like, okay, so would you like to travel? And he started getting me to look at these different elements, not as, not from a place of conclusion and going, yeah, I want to travel, you know, this much and this is how it's going to look. And I want this much money and I want a red car and I want a pink house and I want blah, 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 blah. Having everything trying to, you know, decide it like I'd done in the past. This was about getting a sense of what the energy I would like my life to be like. So he started asking me these questions and it, let's do this now is with that, you know, that thing in your world of, well, I have no idea what I want my life to be like. Okay, good. Well, let's start looking at the energy of it. What would you like your life to be like in the next, let's say five years? How much money would be fun to have? What would it be like to have a sense of ease financially? What would it be like to have a sense of ease in your relationships and have um, relationships and people in your life that you uh, have honor with, you have gratitude for them. They, they, the relationship and the people in your life support you and they add to your life. They're not, somebody who can just align and agree with you, but they actually contribute to you having more of you. And, you know, you get to do things like you get to have, you know, a job or, or work with different things that are exciting to you. You go through each day over these next five years and you, you get more, you like yourself more each day. You know, get the energy of that, like even that, and that's a big thing for me now. That's a big priority on my list is liking more of who I actually am. And that starts growing every day. And you start having um, in interactions with people that are interesting. You start learning more things about what else is possible. You start discovering more things about yourself and people around you, their lives start getting better the end get just get a sense of what that would be like to live from that space you begin to get out of judgment of yourself a lot more you have a different connection with your body where rather than forcing it into existence you begin to acknowledge it and and care for it and be there with it <clears throat> now oh, that kind of has a cool sense to it now with that with that energy and here's what gary did with me was you know he was asking me these questions and he said okay so now let's pull energy into that from all over the universe and i was like pull energy what what do you mean pull energy and he said just ask and i went oh okay i'm pulling energy into it and i couldn't feel anything i couldn't perceive anything going on all i did was ask and i had a trust that, well, you know what? I've spent my life trying to figure things out and that's gotten me to this point. So I'm going to go with what this man is suggesting here. And I started asking and we kept pulling energy into this. So keep pulling energy into it and just ask from all over the universe. Now, as that gets bigger and bigger and you start getting more of a sense of that energy, now let's let trickles of that energy go out and find everybody in the world who's looking for somebody like you, even if they don't even know it yet. And let those trickles go out to everything that's going to support that and help that and help make that a reality. Now, what you want to do with that is this gives you the basis for choice. Now, if you begin to choose anything that matches that energy, you're actually making the choices now in your life that are going to create the space in your future. Everything that doesn't allow that, everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive what that is, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys. <clears throat> Excuse me, povads and beyonds. Okay, so 
well that was cool so we did this session right and um and i left that and i was like wow that was different and i say these because these are these different points in my life where things just started opening up this depression that i had started fading away and more of this liking myself started coming into my world and it was as i moved forward doing more classes and you know interacting more with access consciousness and using the tools i mean that clearing statement alone i would go home every day and i'd be whenever i'd get a spare moment i'd be um everything that doesn't allow me to have more awareness of me right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys perverts and beyonds everything that doesn't change this with my money right and wrong good you know and i was using that clearing statement with everything asking questions and then clearing everything that stood in the way and everything that i'd put in the way that didn't allow it so as i moved forward i started um i started actually working with access consciousness doing different jobs doing some schedule stuff and different technical stuff until a big change one day i was asked to five years ago actually i was asked to facilitate the choice of possibilities class which is one of the advanced classes in access consciousness and i knew that in order to do that i um i remember the day that gary douglas and dane here asked myself and simone millicis and before that even finished asking me i was like yes knowing that this was going to be a huge leap for me into something that I could not define, something that I could not control. And in doing this and choosing that, the, the, the next five years of my life leading up to this and, and what I've been talking about was such a interesting journey of the recognition of what we have available to us that for me what i did was like i would facilitate a class and i could i could go and facilitate a class and be extremely different like and extremely me and then you know that three-day class would be over and then i'd go back into the judgment of myself back into trying to create some image of myself always backwards into something rather than leaping forward into that which i couldn't define into that which would be so different and i say this because how much of our lives do we do that try and only choose that which we can control try and only choose that which we can define and that which creates more of the same image of ourselves that we can present to the world so that we never actually have to expose to us what is true. Well, in this, what I learned for me was that was once again, still doing the same things that led me to the depression in the past. Only now I had a lot more of me to create it a lot quicker. So What if there was nothing wrong anymore with where you're at right now? What if you could be where you're at right now and look at your life once again, more from this bigger picture and go, okay, like, how is my life showing up? And for me at that point, like I, I've talked about getting to the point seven months ago where I went into total destruction of myself and everything around me. and. I look at that now because over those five years of facilitating classes, there was a lot of, there was a lot of it that I did from this thing of trying to create myself as an image. So even that I could get right. It was about being the right facilitator about saying the right thing, you know, helping people the right way. And once again, it was all still based upon not all of it but a lot of it still based upon the same constructs that run our lives in this reality and i say this because once again it doesn't work and so for me in this um in this looking at it from this bigger picture if we could look at our lives like this and go okay so what is it actually showing up like without the judgment and look at it so here's here's another tool i want to give with this is 
having the having these things come up like with money with relationships with your body with sex with your business with all of these things is without the judgment having this bigger perspective of it looking at it and then going okay so i'm stuck in this like this doesn't seem to be moving what am i avoiding oh i'm avoiding actually having success with this <clears throat> Or I'm avoiding a level of greatness that you would make me stand out too much or a level of difference while wow, I'm avoiding actually having gratitude for what it is or whatever that is that comes up. Now, everything that is times a godzillion where you destroy and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and park, all nine, shorts, boys, povads and beyonds. Notice even in that, that see... It's everything that we keep hidden from ourselves. Everything that we avoid being present with are all of the things that we cannot change, but not only can we not change them, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> it's everything that we keep hidden from ourselves that are the things that are running our lives in the background. So you're wondering why there's things in your life right now that you can't change. Well, how do you change something that you can't see? How do you be aware of something different that's possible when you've decided that's the problem? When oftentimes with this thing of it never shows up the way you think it's going to, is it's the conclusion we have in place about what's creating the limitation that doesn't allow us to change it. Rather than looking at it and going, okay, what am I avoiding? Now, the next part with this is looking at that energy, whatever that is for you. And there's probably, you know, for me, there's, a lot of things there's still a lot of things and and that's the other thing i want to be open about with this journey is man it does it's it's never ending it doesn't matter where you get to there's always going to be more and you're not wrong for any of it there's nothing that you've chosen in your life that's wrong and i say that because what i chose seven months ago like i said i thought was the worst thing in the world but it wasn't until I got out of the judgment of it that I could see the gift of possibilities that it could create in my life. I got to see that, wow, now I've shattered that image. I've shattered that thing that I built as who I am, that I know I'm not. Now I have a new beginning. I, I get to choose from this space of what world would I like to be in? What life would I like to have? What would be true for me? What would have that joy? What would be joyful for you? If it wasn't about recreating what you created yourself as yesterday, if it was about the willingness to be present in your life right now and go, oh, you know what? This isn't working for me. And rather than this isn't working for me, so I have to destroy it, which is what I did. Um, I don't recommend that. I highly don't recommend that at all. Um, rather than doing that is being being... This is where being present comes in because you're willing to catch the whisper of something because now you're asking these questions of what are you avoiding? And I'll get to the next part of that in a moment. But now you're present enough to get the whisper of something, which is for me, using myself as an example here, I had the whisper of this years ago with the alcoholism. I had the whisper of you are heading down a path of destruction. Please look at this. Please look at this. Please look at this. Please look at this. These whispers were coming from everywhere, but I had no desire to change it. I had no desire to change it, knowing that in order to change it, there was choices I was unwilling to make that I'd have to be willing to make. So I say that because if you're willing to hear the whispers, you don't have to head into the brick wall. You can look at it and go, oh, okay. So what am I avoiding with that? Oh, I'm avoiding a lot of power. I'm avoiding a future that would actually be everything that I've ever desired. I'm avoiding being me, you know, all of these things. Now that I've caught that whisper, everything that is times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, povads and beyonds. Now, the next question with this, got that energy or one of them that's kind of keeping you stuck is <clears throat> what am I defending with this? oh, man, I'm defending my parents' reality or I'm defending that teacher in school 
that told me I could never be more than whatever that is, or I'm defending this judgment I have of myself. I'm defending that I would never amount to anything. I'm defending, I'm defending, I'm defending everything that is times a godzillion where you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povers and beyonds. So hopefully this is beginning to tie together in this way that you can see that the first of all, there's nothing wrong with you. Second of all, it's it's all the get the getting out of the judgment is the and this avoiding and defending is beginning to expose to you that the limitation only exists based on the point of view that we have that creates it. What do I mean by that? Well, it's the point of view that we have that creates the limitation. Your point of view creates your reality. Your reality does not create your point of view. So when you have a point of view about yourself that you're unwilling to see, you know, one of them for me was I have no, I, I'm terrible with money. I'm never going to have money. Point of view about myself, didn't want to see it. Once again, head in the sand. There is my financial reality right there based on that point of view. Now, what do I do with that? Well, if I'm present with it and I don't have the judgment, I can go, what am I avoiding with that? Oh, I'm avoiding ease with money. I'm avoiding whatever that is. What am I defending with that? Well, I'm actually defending my my parents' reality with that. They always had that point of view. Now I begin to expose to me the point of view that was never mine to begin with that is running my life. And this is what we do with choice is it's not just the choices that we make. It's the space from which we choose. So it's all of these things. And I hope this is making sense because I'm going a little quicker now with this as we're moving through this. It's all of these points of view and all of these things that we avoid and defend are creating the space from which we live our lives. That's how our lives are showing up. So what else is possible with that? And everything that brought up, times a godzillion where you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povads and beyonds. Okay, more to come on that in the next episode. Um, more tools and more, more of this, hopefully, space that's contributing to, to you, even with, you know, I would love it even with these shows if you just went, wow, I'm um, I'm going to be more honest with myself today. I'm going to look at things and, and look at it and go, okay, so if I was being me right now, what would I choose with this? If I was being me right now, how would I see me with regards to this? So I will see you all soon. Thank you very much for being here. And I will see you on the next show. Bye. If you found this helpful, please share it and subscribe at onechoicefromchange.com. Until next time, you're only one choice from change.